Nope. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Medicare Space live show. And it is not Friday. We are actually in, what are we in right now? Uh, trans? Huh? Tuesday? Tuesday? What is today? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, the... <laughs> we're, we're already on, like, we're already on break right now. So we're not in our normal element. It's actually... Uh, we are actually talking too late in the day. Normally we start at what, like 10 or 11? Yes. So normally we start like at 10 or 11. And so we probably won't get our normal viewers like we normally do at Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. But this is <laughs> recorded. So we will replay this on Friday, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, we also, are. So we're live right now? We're live. Yeah, we are live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pinchy bone. We are live. We are live here in San Antonio, Texas at the Medicare Space Studio. Studio. Home of the Medicare <laughs> bomb ass so agents. <laughs> <laughs> we're having an, a slow day today. We are, we're having a slow day we because are. normally we do this on Friday. So we did this last Friday and now and um, it's just too close to last Friday. Yeah. So we got to be silly again. Chipper. On, we got to be chipper again on Tuesday. So anyway, how's your Monday and Tuesday been, Sylvia? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. What did I do? Work slow because everybody's close you know i won't be going anywhere ever did you go to the h-e-b this I didn't week go to h-e-b because they blocked me and they put a table they put a display where i normally <laughs> sit i call my friend i'm like can i go i was gonna sneak in and he's like nope you can't there's nowhere for you to sit so hopefully i'll be back next tuesday and i'll squeeze my table somewhere there i thought you meant like they blocked you like you can no, you can no longer go over there anymore that's what i thought so too I was no like, no Damn. they blocked me for the day from my space oh gotcha gotcha because they got sales going on yeah for thanksgiving black friday and they can't they can't mess with them sales yep so how, how are you how are you this week adriana i know that we've only been here for like two days so <laughs> <laughs> i know it, it feels off oh. is it me uh yeah i'm great Adrienne, I, I can't go right. She just swallowed her food because literally she's been helping people all morning and she had like eight minutes to eat so i was like eat up and then now she's like, do I have lettuce in my teeth? And she smells, <laughs> she smells like Caesar. <laughs> Not, Not to be confused salad. with the person. Not the but salad. The salad. The person. Oh, my God. Caesar yeah. salad. She, she smells, smells like a Caesar salad. <laughs> oh. She's going to be going like this. We, no, I think I got all my teeth. Teeth. we are not in our normal element. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys having are you guys off this week? Are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? Who's who's cooking? Who's not cooking? Are you guys buying food from the store? Are you actually cooking the turkey? Are you buying the turkey? Let us know what you're doing in the comments below. Um, and we'd like to hear what you got going on this week. I was I was DJing. Oh, do I sound oh, like a, okay. like I'm like I'm like let us know it's Friday night three dollar you call it all night long. There you go, there you go, pump us up three dollar you call it on eggnog, which is minus the <laughs> nog. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're not in our normal little bit. Normally we do no. this on Friday, and Fridays are the best. Yeah, you, you chose a really good day to do the live shows well, on technically Friday. Technically, this is your Thursday, so we're pretty close to a Friday. If you're off the rest of the week, ah, so, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I mean, took y'all yeah. a while to pay that one up. Huh? And tomorrow, and today's <laughs> almost over, so it's you know, See, half tomorrow's, a day. yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which mm -hmm. is our Friday because we're off the rest of the gotcha, week. Gotcha, gotcha, you know gotcha. I mean? so, oh, so. that's a good, that's a good point. So any of yeah. our customers that listen, um, we are closed Thursday, Friday. We we won't be back till Monday. Um, and you know, so if you have anything that you need, call us before then, but if not, it'll wait till Monday and you still have the carrier insurance company's number and back of the card. Yes. yes. They so, can still call me. I still get calls all the time. Yeah. Sylvia will answer when she's Late. like two o'clock in the morning. No, I'm just joking. Not two o'clock in the yes, morning. And I've had them call me if they're in the <laughs> hospital. I've had the family call me because I always give them a card and I tell them, give this to your family just in case something happens. And I've had calls from the from their children at the hospital at two o'clock in the morning. We don't know what to do. Just give them the card. Just, wow. you know, so, yes, very few and in between. Well, but 
Our offices will be closed as much as we would love to answer and be at your beck and call. Our offices are closed yeah. until Monday. <laughs> I have no life, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys going to be celebrating Thanksgiving? Are you going to be staying home? What are you guys going to do? Let us know. Let us know in the comments. We th- we wanted to record the show right now because or go live right now. So that way you guys can go rewatch it after you're full with turkey and, and stuffing. And maybe most of you that are not doing anything Friday can go rewatch the show. Because exactly. no- normally we do it on Friday. But, yes. you know. We are. So I know we don't have much to talk about about our week because it's early in the week. But hey, so have you guys started to when's normally the tradition to decorate for Christmas? People are already decorating. Yeah, because we already finished decorating our house. And I feel like we're like the only ones in the street. I I don't start till the beginning of December because I buy a real tree. And so if I buy it too early, I always feel they'll start be a mess you know even gotcha. though i don't have carpet so i usually the first or the second week of december i'll go buy my tree mm. and then i like to keep it till after new year's and i know like my daughter the day after christmas she takes it off no evidence of christmas and not <laughs> me i like to keep it till after new year's because i love the way it looks and the smell and so are you that lady that like yes, it's that, like dead? Like it's all <laughs> it's, it's all crunchy. It's all <laughs> it's like this at the beginning it's and it's like this at the end. <laughs> the ornaments are falling off the tree. <laughs> it is the way it is in oh. in, uh, in January. But I love Christmas and I love to keep it. Yeah. So, but it's fake, so I can't keep it forever. Oh wait, the tree is fake. Well, it's you a real to, tree. You meant to I mean, say it's it was a real tree. Yeah, it's a real tree. Then why did you say? <laughs> I don't know. I this tell is, you, I'm not. I'm not this, a, I don't know what it is. I'm just. I'm not. So, in sync so, right so, now. I Sylvia feel like I'm confused. All... No, don't lie. She's like this all the time. I always have to read. You know, like when you try to read, like or listen to more. What's that Morse code? It's like beep 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 beep. Yes. beep, beep. You have to like try to figure out what I do going that on to Victoria because I have a thousand things in my head, and I try to. I'm asking her a question, and I have I put like four questions together, and she's supposed to read your mind them, yeah, and tell me what the answer is because I'm always in a hurry, and I'm like, okay, bye. And then she'll, I'm ask here. Fra- she'll ask fragments. Yes. Not the whole question. Yeah, yeah. Because they should know what I'm asking. Uh, well. Yeah, but they don't. No, she'll she'll start off with like, hey, so this client and <laughs> and uh, no, let me tell. Let me show, okay, okay, okay. see if y'all can get this. No, okay. she won't even say client. She'll just ask you a question. No. She, <laughs> okay. So what happens with the part B if they don't and then they went there and then they got their prescriptions? <laughs> And I'm like, what? I do. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. What I meant was, and then she tries to do it again, and I still don't understand. And then finally, I'm like, Sylvia, what are you trying to ask me? Slow it's because her, it's cause her mind's Slow going down. 100 miles an yes. hour. <laughs> and she only understands what she's saying, but it doesn't come out of her yes. mouth the way she intends for it to come out. So I always have to calm down and slow down. Take a she's deep like, breath. I'm in a hurry to <sighs> get things done oh my, yeah <laughs> i don't sing like that though you know who's like that um my daughter's like that the middle one she's like me and i can tell so i have to be like hold on what are you talking about desiree what i'm like i'm like i'm like what are you talking about Alyssa? like what did you just say well and i'm like okay hold on let's start from the beginning let's what is the whole question? Yeah, yeah. Because she thinks I'm a my, and then she gets frustrated yes. with me, and I'm like, I don't even know if you're asking me. So yes. yeah, I think it's a very common condition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure people <laughs> think like that about me. Like, what is she saying? Like, I never know what she's saying. But I've gotten better because now I have people that always do that to me, and I'm like, what are they saying? Or like, hey, back. Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably payback or something. Yep, yep. Let us know if you guys have. That one family member that always tries to like say something. Sylvia syndrome. The Sylvia syndrome. I like that. I like that. Sylvia syndrome. So what are we going to talk about? We want to touch base on a lot of little things, but um, I know Desiree said, hey, we've been running into this a lot, so you should really touch base on this particular thing. And uh, we wanted to touch base on when you submit an application for the Medicare savings program, what that is typically for and what to look out for. Right. So I know Sylvia is a pro at this. I know we all do it. We all help our clients out there with the Medicare savings program. But specifically when we submit the app or they submit an application for the Medicare savings program, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to automatically get Medicaid. Correct. Right. Exactly. So there's two 
two different applications. There's mm -hmm. one for LIS, mm -hmm. which is low income subsidy, which helps with the prescriptions. Mm -hmm. So on an average, let's say you're on insulin and you're probably paying between $42, $47 a month for insulin. Mm -hmm. If you get help and you do this application through Social Security, mm -hmm. then they'll come in and they'll, depending on your income, they'll help you with your prescriptions. So you might be paying between zero to nine dollar at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So that's one application and that's for low income subsidy. Yeah. The other one is the Medicare savings program. Mm -hmm. And that application is through Texas Human Resources. It's two different applications, mm -hmm. one with Social Security and one with Texas Human Resources. And they go by your income. And, mm -hmm. and I mean your income, all the money you make. Yeah. If you're getting Social Security, if you're getting disability, if you're getting VA or retirement, they combine all gross, right? Gross income? Yes. Yes, I got to say yes, something. After you're done, I got to say something because it comes up a lot. No, I don't want to interrupt you. You're on a road, man. Gonna, let's keep on going. Let's go. Let's go. People want to know. Yeah. Choo choo. Uh, so that's through Texas Human Resources. Mm -hmm. And they combine if you're single, your income, or if you're married, both of your yeah. income. The problem is on the low income subsidy, and maybe I'm going to be going everywhere, which I always do, for the prescription, that takes about two weeks mm -hmm. for it to be approved. Yep. And normally you'll get, you will get something in the mail, but what will happen is you'll go to HEB and it'll hit the pharmacy mm -hmm. and then you'll get that discount. Yeah. Takes about two weeks. The other one through Texas Human Resources, that could take up to two months. Yeah. I've seen it, especially now, especially now yeah. three months. And I always apply for them. I do the long application under Texas Human Resources and they're going to want, we do the application and then they're going to want proof of everything. If you have a life insurance, if you have a retirement, uh, they're going to want to know how much money you have in the bank. Mm -hmm. They're going to want proof of everything. Yeah. So it does take at least the minimum is a month and a half that I've seen it. That's the earliest. And so a lot of times we do the application and they're calling and they think we're going to fill it out and they're going to get approved. Yeah. And so it does take time for that to get approved. Yeah. And um, <laughs> go ahead, go saying? ahead, go ahead. What were you going to say before you lose it? No, 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 I'm good. You say it. You'll lose it. You'll lose it. No, oh, I already <laughs> lost it. <laughs> Everybody's losing it. <laughs> Mine's is so unique that I won't forget it. Okay. I promise. Well, you better go because I've already done lost my thoughts. So, okay. The, I was, what I was going to say is keep that thought. Okay. Yes, got it. Um, what I wanted to say was when you do the applications, there's a, a few ways that you can actually do the application. Um, one is through the Texas. Uh, well, if you're in Texas, we're specifically talking right. about Texas. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be your Texas benefits.com, right. right? So your Texas benefits.com. And if you sign in and create an account, you can actually apply and then you can upload documents. That probably is the best way. Yeah. And now fastest. the fastest. Now, most people that are applying for this program, a vast majority of them don't have access to the internet at home or like a nice computer where they can copy and, you know, paste and upload and all that. That's like a task itself. Right. And mm -hmm. um, so there's another way is you can do it through paper. You can throw it to the mail and it's like, it's a pretty thick little application. Mm -hmm. um, the other way is if you applied through the social security administration for the low income subsidy, mm -hmm. then it automatically, if you, there's a box that you don't check off, you have to leave that box unchecked. And it says, would you like us to send this information to your local Texas uh, or local state department to Medicaid, right? right. Mm -hmm. um, and so if, if they think you qualify based on everything you've put in, then they normally send you um, documents through the mail to sign off on, right? Or right. if they need extra documents, Medicaid's going to ask for that. And then the other way is normally through like social programs, like um, in San Antonio, we have the San Antonio Food Bank mm -hmm. that help. They have a division specifically that helps people apply for these low income programs, which is great. We use it all the time. Thank you, San Antonio Food Bank. Yes. The other ones are like medical groups. Some of the right. medical groups have advocates. They have social service. They have all these departments. So and even the carriers mm -hmm. have implemented these things. So there's a lot of different ways to apply, specifically applying because um, 
you can't you can't assume just because you put your information somewhere that they don't need anything else. And that's what happens the most. Do you see do you see that happening when somebody submits an application and then they say, oh, I haven't heard anything because they didn't submit more documents that they were requesting? Yes. And the, the worst thing, Texas Human Resources is great. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's the mail. Maybe it's the mail. Maybe it's both. Is that they end up getting a request for information two or three days before it's due. Mm. And so that's the the worst part of it. And so usually if I, if I apply, they're calling me the day of, literally the day of telling me, I just got this in the mail. So I'm rushing over there so I can make copies and I'm telling them, you need to go to the bank, you need to get statements, mm -hmm. take out all your life insurance policies and everything ready for when I get there so we can upload them. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's the worst part of it, about it is that they get it the day of or two days before. And what happens is that if that happens, they have to, I'm so sorry, I thought I had turned it off. <laughs> Boy, she knows that I get upset when the thing is not off. Uh, That's okay. What happens is that if you don't send it in at that time, you have to start the process all over again. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. if they miss it in those two or three days, especially because they get so much mail, if they don't get it and they don't send it in, we have to start all over again mm -hmm. and we'll call them on the phone and explain to them. I'm sorry. They just got it. And they're like, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've exceeded the day and you have to redo it again. So it's starting all over again. And I think out of the whole application, that's the hardest part yeah. is making sure. And I tell them as soon as you get something in the mail, you need to open it up. You need to look at it, read it, figure out exactly what they want, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. And if you get it the day of, then call them and let them know, Hey, I got it. Not two days later, because that after the two days or a day after it's due there, there's nothing they can do anymore. Yeah. That's, that's the big thing is when I hear like, well, the, I, the, I submitted it and it's kind of like, okay, let me just compare it to this. Right. It's like when you fill out um, paperwork to get a house, you fill out the loan application and then that's it. You stop there. But you didn't get a hold of the lender. You didn't. They were asking for income statements. They, and Adriana's smiling with a big grin because she's like, I got something. No, no. You're but not. um, but so you have to follow up and there, and there has to be follow up. So it's let us know. It's a whole long process. Yeah. Let us yeah. know what you were thinking okay. or your situation. Because it's so funny because it's happening more than once. Okay. I've had people call me or we, we they reach out because they're wanting to inquire about the program. And they're married. And so we there's a certain income bracket that you have to fall under. And um, I'll say, okay, we'll do make. Yeah, I do. Or, or and I'm like, okay, well, do you or don't you? Mm -hmm. I don't count my spouse's income. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me ask you this. Are you married? Yes. Okay. Do you live together? Yes. Okay. Well, you have to. Well, I don't understand. That's their money. And this is my money it has yeah. nothing to do with them. I'm like, okay. This is one of those situations where I'm like, I cannot be on the phone with you anymore longer because you don't <laughs> understand and they will not get it. Yeah. They, they, yes. They're like, and I'm like, but you're married and you live in the same house, right? Like you, yes. I'm like, okay, well that counts as income. You have to count the income. Mm -hmm. Like, so I've run into that more than once. Or, or I've run into, yeah, that's a good one because I've run into that a lot too. Mm -hmm. Or they're like, I'm divorced. I'm like, oh, okay. When do you get divorced? Well, we haven't technically got divorced, but we're divorced. And I'm like, okay, do you live together? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> that <laughs> and, happens often. Uh, I know. And so they think, did you file paperwork that you're divorced? No. Okay. So then no, you're not divorced. You're technically still in your mind. You're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> and all that stuff comes up. Yeah. Right. And the application is probably why they're getting denied. Mm -hmm. And they're no, they're saying, I don't know why I got denied. And they find out that they're married still mm -hmm. and that income exists. You're mm -hmm. not going to get approved. Now, a lot of times they get denied for reasons. They don't know why they got denied, but there will be a reason why. Right. And a lot of times, um, okay, for example, and this is specific to Medicaid, is that they, let's just say they own a house, like, like they live in the house that that's their house, but maybe they co-signed on a house for their mm -hmm. kids and they've been on the, on that loan or, or, so now it looks like they got two assets, two houses, right. and mm -hmm. that can, that can hinder them from getting the Medicaid. Um, so there's just, if you're an agent or if you're a client, what doesn't matter 
when you're looking at these things, just dig a little bit more. Like, don't just think, well, you, you just you didn't qualify. Too bad. So sad. Like, we have to figure out why. And there's only so much that we can do. I mean, right. we can't go dig under their mattress and like, let's see what you got, you know, <laughs> or like, we don't know what you put on the application. Some people, it, they're yes and no questions. Okay. It's not, well, what had happened was that <laughs> my mom, my daughter gave me this money and then I put it here and then I took it there. I'm like, no, no, no. Yes or no questions. Okay. Yes or no. Uh, but you, you do have to be very, you know, it's very important that you put the right information on there. Yes. Um, but the card too, if they have more than, if they co-sign, that happens a lot. Mm. They co-sign for their grandkids for and, a car. And if you're a kid listening out there and you have parents that are like of senior age, be careful what you make them sign for you for, because that can affect their benefits as far yeah. as getting qualified, especially if they're lower income. Like they might have excellent credit, but they might be of lower income. And later on when they need these uh, financial assistance programs, you could be hindering them from getting these programs just because they helped you do these things, you know? So just be aware of that. Um, and that's why we talk about the show. Right. Um, we try to put this information out there for everybody to listen to because a lot of people that listen to the show are not even of Medicare age. They might be an agent. They might be a kid. They might be a doctor. They might be um, just somebody wanting to learn about Medicare stuff. Um, so just be, be aware of that. Um, be mindful of the be things mind you make them co-sign for you because they're going to be coming back being like, I need help. Yes. Yeah. Now and I need your help because I helped you out. Yeah. <laughs> and and they find everything else. Years ago, I had a, one of my clients and she had Medicaid. Mm -hmm. And so they dropped her. She got a letter. And the reason they dropped her is because her son was paying child support and he didn't want to go through the district attorney. So he was giving her this bulk amount of money every month mm. to pay the wife, the yeah. ex-wife. And so it was on her bank statement, even though it wasn't her money, mm -hmm. even, even though she didn't get to keep it, she gave it to her daughter-in-law. They denied her because of it. And so she had to wait three months, stop doing that, reapply again. So it was like, four or five months before without her having Medicaid. Mm -hmm. So any money that goes in your account, it has to be accountable for. Yeah. It has to be your money, not anybody else's money. And keep in mind that, so I had a guy, a gentleman, this is a long time ago. Um, he is, he had qualified based on his monthly income, but I always make the joke. You didn't win the lottery. Did you like, cause I always think that's a joke because most people don't win the lottery. <laughs> but in this case, he actually did. He oh, won a wow. scratch off. Oh my God. And it was like over $50,000. And so he had that money sitting in the bank mm -hmm. and he had just gotten it like that year. I was like, wow, that's awesome. But he, be, because of his lower income, I didn't, I was like, well, that's why you didn't qualify because you have that, those assets in mm -hmm. the bank account. And mm -hmm. that's, they look at that, unfortunately. So it's not, they don't only look at income. They actually look at income and assets. Yes. Um, so this is how you'll know if your husband has a stash or your wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't get my Medicaid? Why? <laughs> because you have $50,000. <laughs> Where? <laughs> In a savings account somewhere. But why? I've been hiding it from you because yeah. you're running away. <laughs> <laughs> and it go, all goes back to they know everything. I had a client who closed an account with Wells Fargo five years ago, and they had $20 in that account. Ooh. And they found out. And so they wanted to know <laughs> why that account was still open. Oh, wow. Because it was um, accumulating interest. And they couldn't even remember that they even had an account. I'm like, you it says here you had an account. And they're like, hmm. Viejo, do we have an account at Wells Fargo? And then they're trying to figure out. And sure enough, so they had to go and close it mm. because that was an extra account. So they know everything, what's coming in, what's going out, what you're hiding under. Well, maybe not underneath the mattress, but what you're hiding out there. We didn't. You didn't hear that from the Medicare space. No, and it's not, probably not <laughs> safe to hide stuff under no. the mattress anyway, because wasn't there that one case where like there My was dad like. used to do that. There was, was a there, but, there was a couch that a family found and they and they had like a lot of money really? in it. But they returned it to that person. Oh yeah, it was, had a lot that of was money. Nice of them. Yeah. Well, I would return it too, because what if it was like like drug money? And then, you know, 
then like kind of like what was that show the oasis not oasis ozark i haven't seen it yet yes oh never mind don't say it. <laughs> yes. but i don't know <laughs> spoiler like spoiler alert <laughs> don't have cash because sooner or later it's all gonna be like bitcoin and crypto and all that yeah <laughs> i don't like ever carrying cash around i hate touching money it's because i have different issues though i like i like germs mm, yeah you are OCD. dirty so i'm like if i, have- I tried to give her a hundred dollar cash money the other day and she's just like <laughs> yeah, no. victoria can you wash this please before you give it to me <laughs> she's like wash it and stay flow and iron it <laughs> i just don't like touching it like you can you know deposit it in my bank account all you want but i just don't like touching money did guys was this a thing where guys used to like iron their money <gasps> i when? think i heard that Be before cool. I don't know. I've, I thought I've that heard was a that thing. before. I've never heard that before. It was probably back in our to day. To make it like brand new? Make it look Just like it was brand like new? Like they were crispy like brand new fresh. dollars uh, or something. Like when you get them from yeah. the bank. Which, you know what? Nice. If you think about it, like people don't carry cash anymore much. Like Mm-mm. it used to be really hard to like pay with your debit card, which I would get so annoyed because they're like, we don't take debit card. We only take cash. I'm like, oh my God, what, what century do we live in? Mm-hmm. But now I feel like everywhere you go, it's like Venmo or Cash App. Yes. Or, yes. Like, those, debit those, card. those of you people that used to act that didn't oh crap i forgot my wallet it's psych we take it all hey yes. <laughs> oh darn <laughs> hey darn i didn't charge my phone oh ah, how am i gonna give me your up? arm yeah. <laughs> everybody does that now yeah I mean, uh, there's no way of getting out of a bill these days mm-hmm. like okay cash at me venmo me what there's so many now yeah you can even like uh like do it where is it, or, oh, that's Cash App, uh-huh. where you like screen, like screen yes. it, PayPal. Yes. There's all those yes. sources. Yes. You can't get out of it. Exactly. So uh, Desiree, Josh, can y'all uh, Venmo me my money for lunch? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 They're like, what? Desiree's over there probably laughing. Well, yeah, she's not she her desk is. right now. I don't know what, where, yeah, they're, door. where they're at. Um, But anyway, yeah. So we wanted to have the show because it is... What is today? Tuesday. We already went over this. We already see. I already lost my brain. I tried to come back. Y'all need. This is what the cards are for, guys. <laughs> we, Man, the cards. we made cards. We made cards that look at look at Sylvia's card. Okay. No, first of all, <laughs> first of all, she put on there. Help me. That's not true. She doesn't need help. <laughs> so don't listen to I her on it. help me i was like you better take <laughs> that off people are gonna here. really think you need help and they're gonna send somebody over here they're gonna be like where's your it's gonna be a raid where's your purse <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. so what are you guys gonna what do you guys so what is your favorite dish for um thanksgiving since we've we talked a lot a bit about um the medicare side let us know if you guys have questions. We wanted to really touch base on the application side of things. Um, if you're submitting applications for Medicaid or low income subsidy, it is your responsibility as the client to stay on top of it. Normally, as agents, we can help you with the initial application process, mm-hmm. but we can't sit in your house waiting for the mail. Right. We, we have to trust that you're reading your mail, that you're getting these things. And if you get a mail that you don't know what the letter looks like, Call us. We can take a look at it for you or just take a picture and send it to us and we can take a look at it for you. Obviously, you know, we got to have a relationship. Don't just text us all your mail. We're like, who the heck is this? I don't know who this hey, is. Who's Jane Doe and why is she yeah. a Medicaid letter? So call, let us know. Um, let us know if you have questions there. But because we're coming up to Thanksgiving and we wanted to get in the Thanksgiving spirit, I would like to know what your favorite dishes for uh, not Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Hall- oh, wait. When was there? Pie, maybe. <laughs> that like, was last no, month because you said Halloween. No, so we're gonna start with Thanksgiving. And Adriana, what is your favorite dish for Thanksgiving? Um, it's not really a dish. My mom's stuffing. Ooh, yeah, yeah I love stuffing. And then she mixed it up on us last year, and I was like, "What is going on?" What did she do? I can't even remember. I want to forget. She's like, "The one oh, time I didn't eat, mom, they, they put raisins. I don't like." Raisins I was like, "What did stuff? you do? Ooh. Why are we doing this?" She put something. It was good. It tasted delicious. I'm not complaining, but I'm so used to Different. like stuffing for you know. So yeah. hint, hint, mom, don't, don't change, don't with the, change stuffing, the recipe. Mom. Yeah, so many time recipes should be changed or tweaked a little bit. They need yeah. to stay the same for Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. And how about you? What's your favorite? Yeah, the stuffing. Really? The stuffing? I made homemade stuffing. I like stuffing too. I guess we're all... Like, I like the stuffing. I also love... I know this sounds weird. 
but I love the stuffing and those old school breads, the ones that have like the lines on top. Oh, the little oh. buns. The I itchy. don't like those. I what? Like really? Oh. I don't like those. Oh, no. I put they always burn on the bottom. Well, cause you I probably overcook them. Yes, because I don't like them. I don't care. <laughs> She's like, if I don't like them, nobody's going to get them. Gonna she burns them. them. She went, literally burns them. I want good rolls and bread. I don't hey, like you want good rolls? Here you go. I got plenty of money. I got some I need to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why every my sister in law called me. She's like, what do you need? I got the rolls. Like this. Oh, I got the rolls. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna happy. bring I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy I a think shirt. It's because it's like the least expensive thing that you can buy out of everything is the rolls. I'll be like, I'll get the rolls, everybody. I'll get the rolls. <laughs> but, but she she likes the rolls. Everybody likes the rolls. They're hot. I, I don't know. You I know what I like eat them. my stuffing with? I eat it with uh, cranberry sauce. Yes, me too. I oh make, my gosh. Are you serious? With homemade, oh. I made homemade cranberry sauce. Okay, how did you do that? <laughs> I can't Lying. tell you. I, like always, fake dream. I always put, uh, it's just sugar, a little uh, orange zest. I always put grand Monnier in it. Ooh, Ooh so okay. not for kids. really good. Not for kids. But this year Unless I'm making a... <laughs> Cranberry chutney with jalapenos. Oh, oh spicy. Wow. I've never made it before. So the way I do it is I get the Kool-Aid packet. <laughs> what the heck? I put sugar. I'm just joking. You know what I do? I go to the store and I buy the can of the cranberry. Can. Uh, the regular ones and the one that comes solid. Cut it yeah. up. Call it oh, name. my God. Yeah. That's disgusting. Normally, it's normally um, I bring... <laughs> I do everything on me. Normally, I bring the rolls. No. <laughs> oh my God, are you the person are who brings you the, the rolls? No, I'm the person that brings the plastic wear. <laughs> hey, and that is not cheap. The plastic wear and well, the, the you know things what, are not cheap. To be fair, in your family, you have a large family. So if you yes. had to buy the rolls, that's a lot of rolls. Well, I normally just try to give money. I'm like, can I just give somebody the money and then y'all can go get it? Because I cannot stand going to the store, especially around. And I feel so bad because we go, you know, we usually go visit our family for Christmas or no Thanksgiving. Sorry. And Christmas, but Thanksgiving. And we'll stay there a few days, but they normally will start cooking because we do have a large family and we know they normally start cooking Wednesday. But we normally don't get there till Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon. So we miss all the craziness. Yes. And that's is the that fun on, part. Is that on but purpose? I don't like people helping you <laughs> cook. I like to do all the cooking yeah. myself. Yeah. You try to remember she tried to like not do the show because she's like, I got to start cooking. I'm like, you're going to start cooking on Tuesday. Well, I was going to start making the pie crust because I made homemade pie oh, crust. Okay. So I was going to so start doing a little so preppy today. Okay. okay. So you're going to go prep today? I'm going to, well, I still have to go. I have to go buy some chairs because we're missing five chairs. I don't know where they went. Claudia said, what is Claudia? Claudia Does said, she have chairs? Ah, the no. <laughs> I need chairs. Claudia Garza. Claudia Garza. <laughs> okay. She says, those are my favorite too, Victoria. I'm assuming she's talking about the rolls. Yes. The, the little H E B rolls. Yes. I love the H E B. You know, I throw away more rolls every anymore. year. Every year I throw away <laughs> those rolls. I, those are the best. No, they're horrible. Horrible. I've never liked it. You know what I do with them though? I put um throw my people? No. Oh, that's gonna do <laughs> I I put um you chunk them at that I'm sure they hurt people because yours are burnt. <laughs> I chunk them in the trash can. See how many I, I can get hey, in. Hey guys, y'all thought I talk a lot? <laughs> Try to get a word in these with these girls. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what I do is I get the roll. Okay. I what? get and then I get mashed potatoes. Okay. We'll and see. then I stuff the stuffing. And then I get a little piece of dark meat, turkey, and then that's how I eat my little roll. Like a sandwich? Yeah. Sandwich. Sandwich? Sandwich. 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 <laughs> how do you guys, what's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Type in the comments what your favorite Thanksgiving dishes. And yes, I know we're going to see a lot of plates, but you don't have to post your Thanksgiving dinner because we know how what Thanksgiving dinner looks. But let us know what your favorite Thanksgiving. And if you have an interesting um, recipe, let us know. Um, I always love our Thanksgivings because I think I was saying this. I can't remember who I was saying it. Um, in our family, we have a lot of different ethnicities. Mm -hmm. And so normally we get like, 
like so on Friday, I think we're going to cook Colombian mm. and because my wife is Colombian and then my um, my brother in law will. Well, I don't know. He don't normally like they'll cook something, you know, like maybe like egg rolls or spring rolls or depending. like pho. So she's going to make la chona. What is Ooh, that? La chona, that's a Mexican Is that song. like la corona? <laughs> Wait, <maybe. laughs> la, la llorona? I think I, no, you know, that's I, a lady who cries. Okay. I can't remember if I'm saying it right. La chona? La chona. She's probably going to get mad at me because I'm probably saying this wrong. Well, it's what Colombian is it? Dish, it's, a, it's a Colombian dish. What does it have in it? Google okay. it. So it's um, rice. It's pork like a pork belly mm-hmm. or like um, pork, right? Okay. Um, and then it's, I can't remember the little, it looks like a bean, but it's not. I can't remember. So it almost like looks like a paella. Okay. Okay, but it's a Colombian. And then what they do is they take the, I know this is going to sound really gross to people that don't <laughs> like pork, okay? But they take the pork skin and they wrap it and they stuff it. So, but, so, but she's not, I don't think she's going to do the pork skin. What do you mean the pork skin? Like, you know how you get a pork, like the pork, like the pig Uh and you're like, Like, almost like a casing, like you would use for sausage. So think of a, think of how you, um, make a pig, like the, how you make a pig. (laughs) (laughs) We got a dated one. (laughs) You you know, you know, I'm up next. I'm probably going to say something bad. Actually, no, you got me at the top of the show. You were like, Adrian, I can't even get the words out right (laughs) (laughs) okay okay these girls had too much coffee or something okay or maybe i didn't have so you stuff it like a sausage (laughs) i think i don't know guys i just know that she says she's gonna make it but it's okay so imagine the pig okay (laughs) like if you were to cook a whole pig okay okay Okay. and then you take the stuffing and you stuff it Okay. But but the head's not there, the tail's not there. It's just like the body of the Oh, so, so the cavity. Yeah. The well, not the cavity, it's you just the skin, the, the skin, the pork skin. Like mm-hmm. stuffing a turkey. Yeah, kind of like stuffing oh, a turkey. Okay. But I don't know, but normally it's just you take the skin and you wrap it around and then it but the pork and everything's in there. Oh. It's just the meat, not all the fat and everything. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Or and then my my mom was gonna try to take a stab at her because she's made Colombian tamales. So like you know how our tamales are like really super mm-hmm. skinny. Well, their tamales are like that, like big, and they're a wrapped burrito? in burrito. Yeah, they're big. They're big. I'm personally I could live without those, but arepas, buñuelos, all that stuff. So if I don't you're, know what you said. What's it's called arepa? lechona. Thank you, Maria mm. Ines. It's called lechona. I said lechona. <laughs> lechona tolimini. Lechona. Tol- tolimi- well, yeah. Is, am I saying it right? I don't know. It's called lechona. So it's not lachona. It's lechona. <laughs> Apparently there's a difference. Le and la. <laughs> I was going to tell you that you were saying it wrong. <laughs> lachona. <laughs> I think it goes a little bit fast. <laughs> I don't know the song y'all are talking about. So. Chona, la chona, I don't know. Yeah. La, la Brooke chona. likes that song. She plays it all the time. Is that how it goes? Are <laughs> you that's that? how it goes, yes. Oh. I thought you were trying <laughs> to sing charanga. Oh, that's what I thought you were yes. saying. You sounded more like charanga. <laughs> it's the same uh, thing. Okay. Nah. <laughs> we, I, pro- I, I promise we haven't had any eggnog, guys. I promise no. we have not had any spiked eggnog, Okay. Um, it's just we're not on our normal element. We normally do this Fridays, and now we're doing it today. Yes, that's okay. We're our job is to get this important information, the difference between La Chona and El Chona to you. Okay, yes. <laughs> I want to make sure you know how to pronounce it correctly. That's yes. important so that you don't sound La funny Chona. at your Thanksgiving party. T- say something again. La Hello, Chona. not you. Oh, <laughs> you looked at me. <laughs> not you. Oh. Hello? Okay, good. Oh, okay. I don't know why you're not sounding good. Anyway, long oh, story short. Oh, maybe it's because I... Um, there I you s- go. Okay, there it is. That sounds good. It's too far. Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Sylvia's on that mic. She's, She's getting- like, hello, everybody. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, this is why I do the... the um, this is why I do the sound, so that way you guys don't clip. Anyway. So what do you guys... I haven't seen what you guys are going to be eating... We already know about the turkey and the stuffing and the rolls, but are y'all eating anything interesting for your Thanksgiving? Do you have any family that's, you know, cooks different stuff, different ethnicities, different 
different dishes. My mom makes a really good goat cheese and Brussels sprouts. Mm. Ooh. It's delicious. What is like? What do you do? I don't know. Do you sprinkle she, the no? Goat it's she cheese? bakes it. It's a casserole. It's really really oh, good. Interesting. I don't know what it's in there, so but good. I know it's goat cheese and the Brussels sprouts. Mm. Got bread panko crumbs on top. Mm. So it's really good. Sylvia has brought us two dishes to the yeah, office, and they were both very delicious. Oh, mm. yeah. Yes, the yes, roll. yes, yes, yes. She is potato one heck roll. of a cook. Dude, that potato roll was the bomb. The yeah, that was my roll. favorite. That was so I like that. Potatoes. Yes. That's what I'm making. Potato gras. I'm making fresh green beans. Mm-hmm. And... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Rocky <laughs> casserole. But the green beans are... Real green beans, not the can. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Here we go again with I the just shaming of the cans. Yes. No cans no, in my I house. I like the can. Mm-mm. I like my green beans in the can when you're doing the the casserole. I want to see my green beans coming out of the can. <laughs> I want to okay. see them that weird green brown color. <laughs> <laughs> the color. You want to see the dye coming out of them when you no, open the can. Because you know when they're canned beans, when they're like the weird green brown, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Don't, don't act like I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? Not the real green. <laughs> oh, yeah. the other ones, the cut. Just the canned beans. The canned beans that where you cook the, where you cook the little, uh, mm-hmm. where you cook the, the gr- casserole. Right? I understand what you're saying. That's what I'm going <laughs> to use. That's what we use, and that's pretty darn good. That's the only thing I don't like: the green bean casserole. Okay, let's mm-hmm. let's do a trick. Okay. Let's do a contest. Um, Savi so doesn't like a lot of the things. I know we like. I'm very picky. The what? If it's not homemade, I don't like the cans. I like the cans. I like, I like the cans. So let's. Let's try to take a guess, <laughs> kind of like a baby shower. You know, when you guess how many jelly beans are in the bottle. Let's try to guess how many calories we consume, uh, oh God. like real calories we consume that day, the day. And be honest, because, you know, like you get there, you're picking on the you're picking on this. This is how my day looks. I walk in. Hey, guys. I'm in town and my mom's like, Hey, Hey. And then I walk in, I start smelling everything and I like open the foil and I start picking at stuff. <laughs> and I, and my mom Do doesn't get mad off. because I'm her favorite. Um, normally we try not to eat breakfast because we know we're going to eat a lot. Okay. Um, and then I'm like, Ooh. And then my sister's like, don't even think about it. And then, cause you know, she gets mad cause I'm my mom's favorite. So, <laughs> but my mom's like, here you go, Miha, you want a little Whatever bit? Whatever you want. And she'll put like a little bit on a spoon and she'll say, here, try it. And then she doesn't put the spoon back guys. Okay. She doesn't put the spoon back. She'll get a new spoon. And then we eat a roll and then, then I was like, okay, so you're, you're eating. And then you actually sit down and we all have dinner, right? right. Like later. What mm-hmm. time? Uh, so we're having ours could actually get to be like a lunch, like probably like two or three. Okay, that's what which we is eat never too. really good because then you eat like two or three more times. So yes. we have a dinner. We don't do twelve. We have an actual Thanksgiving dinner. Excuse we do it at three. Me. No, it's not. It's a bad thing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, it's like, like we five, all, six o'clock. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Like the deal. I would go to my in-laws in mm-hmm. the afternoon and then we'd go and do my mom's in the evening. So it kind of worked out. But now my mother-in-law is going out of town. Why do you sound like a Jersey girl right now? I, I know. know. <laughs> Probably because this is my afternoon talk and I've, <laughs> I've been sounding professional all morning long helping She's people. Like, so we went to the in-laws. <laughs> you sound normal. And then you're, you're, you're like, my, prefer, my professional <laughs> talk <laughs> is all out. I'm all professionaled out. She's you're professional out. I've helped a lot of people today. Okay, so, so then. Then you went to your in-laws. So, and you go, yeah. So my mother-in-law is going to be out of town this month. This okay. year. So we're not going to go over there. Okay. But my, we've always done Thanksgiving dinner. I think it's because maybe that's just my and mom guys cooks like, all day, though. All day on Thursday. She's never really off the day before. Or, oh, okay. And, but I think now it's just that's how we have it every year. Do you guys put like, um, do you guys like have like your plate set up and like your silverware and all that? No, no. Or is it just like, all right, here's your plate. It's like, you know I what? Do. The forks are there. The plates are there. Grab a fl- plate and a fork. Let's go. Oh, yeah, no. I like true. everything. I have my tablecloth. I have my <laughs> con- uh, linen napkins and I decorate them and I put them inside <laughs> the wine glass. So and like, I, I'm very, I love like, that Martha Stewart. I think my sister <laughs> tried to do it like that one year and then she was like, the heck with oh, this Oh, no, crap. I do it every year. We're not doing it again. And people are like, let's just do a buffet. No, Thanksgiving, it's sit down, it's proper. 
when you have like a hundred kids running around and you it just want to eat because you, twenty people because and you this is where it's gonna be because you already drank maybe too much wine <laughs> and you need to eat something. Okay, what time do y'all start that's, drinking? That's what we oh we start drinking as soon as I get there. <laughs> Claudia said that they're not that fancy. They're oh, not no, that we're fancy. not. We try. She did try. So I should say my sister hosts Thanksgiving every year. Thank you. She does. We we go over there and make a mess at her house. So, um, so yeah, she did try to do it one year. And then after that, it was just like, it's a lot of work. It is. Mm-hmm. No. It is. And I don't have kids she bought or the anything. Sa- she so bought the easy. saucer plates, the fancy color. Everybody had a placemat. And now it's like, okay, here. You're lucky if you get a plate on your <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Sit down and eat. Hurry up. <laughs> Somebody pour me some more wine. <laughs> and I have the chargers also. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that's what it was. See, I don't even know what they're Sylvia, called. And then Sylvia's like, <clears throat> ding, 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 yes. ding, ding. And then <laughs> can everybody we, stand? We must all get together. No, we do all get together and pray before dinner. We yes, do do yes, that. We so pray. Yes. We do. Somebody, gets, that's somebody good, yes. prays. Somebody so, bring Jesus in this room. So Sylvia's <laughs> like, I would like to make a toast to myself. <laughs> and I'm so Thank amazing you. that I did all Thank of this you. work. Pat, pat on my back. <laughs> Are you guys a very, let us know in the comments if you're formal. Or if you're casual, if y'all are a Thanksgiving formal dinner or a Thanksgiving casual, we're we're very casual um, because we don't <laughs> like have we don't have a lot of room at the kitchen table because we have like, but we do try to have like tables outside for the kids so everybody's like not at one big table like there's grown ups here kids there it's like a party it's so yeah. Like so are you gonna party. tell everybody about how you are gonna have two outfit changes this year? <laughs> Should I say that? <laughs> You're gonna have two. The formal no, and it's the very, casual. It's very, very, I need very to go buy me bougie. Some uh, no. I, I was like, hold on, who's no. bougie here? I'm not bougie. I'm not having an outfit change. I'm just gonna show up in my pants and my shirt. <laughs> no, because Brooke, two outfit wait, did, changes. Did Brooke say she said that she was wanted to show up in in a sweatshirt, sweatpants? Yeah, but sweatpants. Yeah. Who knows? And I said, oh, I have sweatpants that I'm gonna be changing into. I don't think that's a considered a outfit change. I think that's just <laughs> put it on my fat pants. Oh. after we eat <laughs> after the 4,000 calories that norm- we normally consume, yeah. like with the family like after we eat like we're always doing something and then my, my sister's gonna have her um her gender reveal ah. so I gotta be comfortable Sorry. that's true I gotta be comfortable and I don't know if it's gonna be cold or not that's so I always true. I like to take you know comfy clothes too after and it's family so you just you know and we usually stay the night there so I like to get in my comfy wear. It's definitely ready not ready for bed. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So that way you just like like I know <laughs> next year I'm going Wherever to your you fall, house. you fall. <laughs> and depending on how much, you know, wine or whatever we're gonna have that day. You have day. a lot to celebrate that day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome. Babies coming. I know. Twins. Twins. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. wow. So how much is that gonna make it in your family? I'm talking about a lot of kids, and she's got a lot more than me. 14, 15. I'm going to say, I keep saying 14, but I think we're at 13 total, like, immediate kids. Uh-huh. Plus the two more. And then two more. So, like, I think there's a total of, I think it's going to be 15 nieces and nephews total. I think it just seems nice. like the three small children in our family, it feels like there's 10 of them. Yeah, there's a, two. So... Yeah. yeah, there's a it lot. It just feels like there's 10 of them Trust when they're running me, around. I Because my sister has a pool at her house, so I normally sit like where I could see. Like, I'm never like at ease. I'm always like, and I'm always like this one, two, three. Counting them all. Count all the small ones that are still small, you know, yeah. like under eight. Like, I'm like, okay, they're, they're, they're all there. They're all there. And so, but adding two more. Ooh, yes. Nelly, that's going to be a. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's going to be mm-hmm. fun. But yeah. anyway, so are you guys staying in town? I yes. am, yes. Do you guys have any family coming in town? My brother's in town from San Francisco. Oh, nice. Yeah. His partner stayed up there because he has to work. He's an RN, but he came here uh, Wednesday, last oh, Wednesday. Okay. So he'll be here for two weeks. So what are y'all doing? Y'all hanging out? So we're hanging out a little bit, fighting, you know, family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, just kidding. <laughs> and and how about you, Adriana? No, my family's all here. So it's so funny how I used to live way on the other side of town, right, before my sister moved. And so now we're kind of like in this little triangle. So it's literally like my sister lives here. I live all the way down from her. Mm -hmm. And then my little sister lives like probably like, I don't know, like 15 minutes away from us. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a nice little triangle. 
So my mom so doesn't do have to go very far when she's got a babysit. Do y'all meet in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> we do. My sister has a big house. And so she's very gracious, her and her husband, to be able to host us. And my mom is amazing. She cooks everything. Although we started divvying up plates. So I think I want to say this is the third year. Well, now we're like, okay, you make side, you make side. So it just it makes it easier for her. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work. A I, lot of work. I need to contribute more. You feel left out? You feel like you're not contributing enough with your plastic forks and spoons? No. <laughs> and rolls? Well, no, no. Okay, so I'll take that back now that the I'm married. rolls are big. Now that I'm married, um, my wife does the contribution. That's what I was going to say. That's not like... I think you're talking about you because yeah, Carmen's no. is not me like that. personally. <laughs> but they, they call me the runner. So I ah. run, I go run. Like I oh. go like, okay, go get this. A go get the ice. Very go important. get that. That is very important. Yes. When you run out yes. of wine but guess or what? anything. What? But you know what I do now? Guess what? As soon as I get there, crack open something. A beer, a drink. So I'll be like, ah. I sorry, can't guys. Go. I can't go. Can't drink and drive. So uh, anybody else? Uh, but no, I'll, I'll do it. If I, if, but normally they're like, no, we got everything. We're good. But it's expected from me. They, they don't expect much. <laughs> <laughs> right, mom? Right, Julia, Priscilla, Andrea? Yeah, they don't expect much. Because I'd rather just say, hey, can I just give you money and contribute to the, 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 the meals yes. and the food and stuff like that? Um, but I don't like going to the store. I don't like going to the store. I don't even like going to, I don't even this go to the groceries. This is true. She does not like going to the store. I don't like it. I will just, I, I'll Order say. Order online. <laughs> or I'll say Adriana. Do me a fave. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. This is what I need. Right. We I'll got be it. Like, whatever you need, boss. Let me. My mom's me listening take a and she says, we got it covered. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, please don't bake anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she meant. She's like, That's what she meant. Victoria, don't we love you, cook. but don't you don't got to do anything else. <laughs> How about dessert? What are y'all going to make for dessert? I normally make a cheesecake, mm. but since my husband's not going to be there, nobody's having cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mean. Uh, I usually make cheesecake. Oh, it's a lot of work. It um, is. But uh, my mom gave me the recipe, so I took over and I make cheesecake. Um, so yeah, that's my. Ooh, speaking of cheesecake, you know what we make? My family and I think I don't know that this is family tradition because I think I've eaten it other places, <laughs> but it's um, we always make it pudding pies. Do y'all do pudding pies? Uh, no. no. Okay, so um, mom, if I'm butchering this, just put in the comments that if I am, but so what you do is you get the cool whip, mm -hmm. like the tub cool whip. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get cream cheese. Okay. And I'm sure you get sugar. And that then, already sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay. And you make it like, it's like, like a cheesecake. Like, okay. Uh, okay. That's one filling. And then you make, um, and then you make the vanilla pudding and the chocolate pudding. Okay. And then you get, you can put pecans and then you get like, you can do the gram, like just the gram. <gasps> I think my mom makes okay. that. Okay. Yeah, so then you but do with the chocolate. It. But you do the layers. So you do the layer of the cream cheese. You do the layer of the chocolate. You do the layer of the... You could do another layer of the cream cheese and then vanilla. So, like, you layer it. Huh. You layer it. Um, and then you put it... Of course, you just... And then you just put it... You could put pecans and chocolate. I think they shave chocolate on top. Like, sh chocolate shavings Ooh, on top. That sounds good. It's so good. It's okay, so good. Is there now, if I can have it the way I would like it, <laughs> Mom... <laughs> Mom... <laughs> Um, Give me some slight modifications. I love crunchy, any crunch that you can throw. So I would probably do like a layer of graham cracker. I thought that I thought that's huh. I would, that's what I was imagining. No, so you know the pie crust that's like graham cracker pie crust. Okay, yes. it's not actually graham. It's like a pie crust of graham cracker. Okay, so you might have made H E B like those that you normally make. You like, know what you could even do? Oh, one of those vanilla wafer cookies. Yeah, layer. Yep. Yeah, you can get a creative. You can make your own. Huh. version but that's what we, we like eat that, that a lot yeah. interesting yeah. is there Very any baking time yeah. no just no the everything only, already made and then you, you just, just pre-make it and then throw them in the fridge and then they have to be refrigerated but huh. yeah you just throw them in the fridge I like I'm gonna that. Make that. i know hmm. well and this is why like i want i'm curious to know how many calories we're consuming God, why are you gonna I ruin it with wanna, that i don't <laughs> i don't want to ruin my thanksgiving thinking about calories <laughs> I went to the gym today, so I'm good for Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, I need to go to the gym. I burned 50 calories. You're like, so you know what? I'm good. I don't know. I'm good. good. Maybe I'll go for a walk that morning. I'll ask my sister if she wants to go for a walk. There's normally only one. Well, I don't know if she's pregnant. so Because normally only one of my sisters will want to go. 
Like uh-huh. she'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll do it. But she's pregnant. When so did she do? Um, April. My birthday month. Let's see if they're birthday. Okay. Birthday's one day, not the whole month of Victoria. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I hope <laughs> <laughs> they bet their birth. We don't count. Oh, my mom says we don't count calories. Oh, okay. That's yeah. right. That's right. like your mom. Yeah. Mom says we don't count. Right, mama hey, gotta- if mom, if mom says we don't count calories, then we got to listen to mom. That's exactly. right. Mama Josie, you know best. Yeah. So if you're listening right now and oh, she says we're having the reveal that night. Yeah. Yeah. I cool. told I told them that. So what does that mean? Do we get extra calories? So how are they going to reveal it? What what are they going to? So did you ever see those like uh, not absurd? What's the word? Like extravagant over the top. Over the top? They're going to do fireworks show. How nice! That's I awesome. love fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be like ping. <laughs> Those sparters. <laughs> <laughs> We're like looking up, and it's like pew, 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 <laughs> on the ground. Somebody better not mess that one up. Yeah, don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be with my little binoculars on the ground. Like, <laughs> what was that? Where did that go? Yeah, they're gonna do. So they already have the blue and the pink, and so because they're twins, it's either gonna be all pink in the air. It's either gonna be all blue, or it's either gonna be a mixture of pink and blue. How if it's cool a boy and a girl. is that? Because the, I think they already told her that it's not, it's fraternal, not identical. Okay. Oh, okay. So it could go either way. I think that's, am I saying that right? I think that that's right. But anyway, guys, we are coming up to four minutes left in the show. Do you want to add anything? I know we only talked a little bit about Medicare, but we didn't, we're in the holiday spirit right now. We wanted to talk about the holidays. We wanted to get the show before you guys um, before we're not here on Friday because we're not going to be here Friday. So. Well, how about we say what we're thankful for? Oh, each of us. Oh. See, Adriana always oh. has the great ideas. You see, it was in my, it was on my card. Okay, we'll oh, let you. <laughs> I hate the card. Hey, hey, Help me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in the small print. Ooh. I know. Okay. Hey, what do y'all think okay. about these cards that Adriana and Desiree made? Aren't those cute? Keep us on track, but um, no. <laughs> Sylvia didn't write anything, anything on hers. Is what she's saying. No. And Sylvia I, was doodling, and now it just looks I'm like a, a blob. Okay, let's start with um, okay. let's start with Adriana. We'll start with Adriana. So I'm thankful for for my mom who who cooks uh, Thanksgiving dinner and just in good time because I think your mom just joined the show. Oh, look at that, ah. Imelda. If you're listening, my sister probably told her I was saying nice things about her. So she's like, get, <laughs> on, get on, mom. get on now. No, I was kidding. I was saying <laughs> nice things about if, my mom. If you, if you <laughs> just joined in, we're going to be closing out the show. But Adriana had a wonderful idea. Um, before we close out the show that we should say what we're thankful for. So if you're listening in and you're listening to us, you can listen to us. But while you're in your head and listening, you should think about what you're thankful for right now. Maybe tell yes. that, that somebody. OK, let's so, hear it. Let's thankful hear it. for my mom who cooks Thanksgiving dinner for us every single year. Um, mm-hmm. I, I can't imagine it being anybody else. Yeah. So, of course, and my sister's. My brother-in-law's, my you know, extended family, uh, my dad, but especially my my husband yeah. and my daughters for sure, and of course you and Sylvia, who have been so awesome. <laughs> and I can't. And uh, honestly, my job, I'm I'm so thankful for that too. Honestly, I was giving her the look. <laughs> you better say something about me. Her. <laughs> 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 see, hey, y'all can't see under y'all can't see under about me you better say something about me that's oh, that. yeah. well that's great anything yes. else before <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great you kicked me <laughs> now my foot hurt <laughs> no, no i am thankful wait was it adrian oh, you finished? Finished? yeah okay. I, mean, I could go on and on but i mean she right. cut me no, off go on. this was but. your grammy moment right here it was <laughs> and she totally ruined it for me <laughs> it Just was she, who said yeah that's it <laughs> you're done bye <laughs> cut it off we gotta go <laughs> okay. four minutes <laughs> all right sylvia you got i'm you got. thankful for my daughter and my son and my family, mm-hmm. my siblings, and to be blessed to work with such great people, all oh. of y'all, yeah. and the children, my children. She <laughs> calls them children. I mean, they kind of are children, but yeah. So, yes, yeah, just the working children. here. You know, this is my my family, my equivalent of family. Yes, we are. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I always cry, so let's move on. <laughs> That's why I had to stop talking to you. Well, I prepare for these moments. <laughs> <laughs> She had a shot before the show. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, the screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like in the academy. Like the credits are rolling. Yeah. 
Well, I am thankful for it. And I'm probably going to take the longest. Oh, here we, here we uh, <laughs> it's all about her now. <laughs> Damn it, I can't do it now. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's getting a little hot in here, guys. It's a little okay. too much feeling. In all seriousness, I am thankful for um, my wonderful, wonderful wife and my beautiful child, Mila. Because if it wasn't for Mila and my wife, I wouldn't really know what true, true love is. Mm -hmm. So that is my number one. Uh, number two is I'm very thankful for um, my family. One thing that everybody's always told us that um, that they're very like impressed of our immediate family, like how our brothers and our sisters and our like we're super close, and like my mom's like the glue that keeps everything together. So I have to say I love you, mom. And of course, they always support, you know, she's always supported me. My mom has always supported me no matter what I did in these crazy journeys of building a business and doing whatever, uh, what, whatever I want to do. So I got to give props to my mom. So super thankful for you, mom. And of course, all my family. I love you guys. Um, and then, of course, you guys, you guys make this Medicare space happen. I mean, the, the helping the clients. We're thankful for you guys for listening in and actually supporting a small business that has big dreams and big visions and finding people like Adriana and Desiree and Josh and Sylvia and Brooke and everybody that's here building this thing to where in probably about five years, you're going to see big time. We're going to be, told we're, you we're going to need bodyguards. We're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia and Sylvia, <laughs> Sylvia and Adriana is like, we should do the Medicare space on the road. I'm like, really? <laughs> At a bar? <laughs> At a bar? At 10 a.m.? We got to figure out how we're going <laughs> to. We got Bloody Mary. Yeah, it's never too early to party ever. <laughs> Oh, so we are all thankful for each other. We're thankful for you guys yes, for listening thank you. Thank every you, time. Thank you. Um, Lorenzo says, thank you. After, I'm thankful for the Medicare space. Oh, you just want extra points there. Oh. <laughs> You're not 65 yet. So. <laughs> but we are thankful for you guys. And be sure. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you, guys. We should have put the kids on the spot, but we won't do that to them because they're probably like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Not Des, she'll come in here like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's always practicing before we She's get on. She's always practicing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you so much, guys, for listening, um, especially early because we were going to have it on Friday, but we didn't. Um, thank you always for supporting the Medicare space, um, whether you're a client, whether you're a friend, whether you're a family member, whether you're a um, listener of the show. Thank you so much. Um, also, you guys be safe this holiday weekend. If you are going to be having a little eggnog or beer or whatever, make sure you stay home. Don't drive. Yes. Right. Um, make Uber. sure. Yeah. Uber. Uber is always good. Um, don't get in fights with your family. This is a time to enjoy with your family and friends and appreciate each other. This is that one time of the year when you can let all your sorrows behind you and keep it, you know, keep it to where you appreciate each other. Desiree says, Whoa, I'm a star. <laughs> <laughs> You've um, always been a star in my eyes, Desiree. Yes. Yeah, you've always been a star. Um, and well, what, what else I was going to say? I think that's it. Right. I think we're good. It went by fast. It did go by fast. Cause we were, y'all were just yeah. yak, yakking over there. <laughs> yak, yak, so yak, yak, you. yak. You're yep. the yakker head. Head yacker. <laughs> She's a I'm head, the yacker. head yacker. There you go. Head yacker. Wait, that doesn't sound good, guys. <laughs> Edit that out. Edit that. Oh, wait, we can't. We're live. Because <laughs> my wife says, like, she uses a Y for a J. Oh. So <laughs> they don't want to be the head yacker. <laughs> Rated PG, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, that's too much. We got to go, guys. Thank you so much. We're going to end on that note. Happy Thanksgiving. PG-13. PG we love you. Thank you. Thank PG you. Thank 65. you. And we'll see you next Friday. Yes. All right. Adios. Bye. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>